I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> so here we are again, man. Preseason officially over. First off, shout out to the Vikings. Shout out Kevin O'Connell for not getting only his first preseason win, but two, not two, but three preseason wins. You hear me? <laughs> Bottom line, huh? I'm going to get into the highlight video later so I can really point out and identify certain players. But right now, I got to speak on the game as a whole, the offseason as, as a whole, where I feel, what I feel about the Vikings team as a whole, dog. Now, you know, I stand on it. I said they should make the playoffs. They are a playoff team, no matter who the quarterback is, right? The way the defense has elevated and improved, dog. Uh, but, man, I say this here. The Vikings will overachieve this year. Have you hear me? Oh, yeah. From what I've seen this preseason, every game, yes, I watched the game. I watched the last game, Philly game, <laughs> front to end to its entirety. Yeah. <laughs> Just didn't have time to speak on it afterwards, but here we are. What I learned about the Vikings the most, what, what stood out to me, depth, man. The Vikings have depth. Not only that, they got solid depth. Guys who can play, boy, here. Guys who can play athletes over the field. It's really real, huh? No cap. I'm watching the Philly game. I'm, I'm looking at the physicality. I'm looking at them boys fly around. I'm looking at the defense. Offense, etc. You hear me? <laughs> I'm looking at how them boys move around, how they look in sync. It's no miscommunication, it's communication, their own point. And I can just say to myself, the Vikings are damn near a second round playoff team, maybe more. <laughs> With the depth they have, assuming they make the right decisions, keep the right players. But they got some tough decisions, dog, in a lot of spots, in a lot of spots. You hear me? If I'm the Vikings, I'm attacking the trenches first. I want the best players in the building, and it's tough, dog. Dude stepped up, man. You got big boys up front, big bodies in the building. I was talking about how I coursed in the trenches, looking at these boys play. The trenches look 1,000, homie. Plenty of young players across the board step in and fill in. Damn near be a starter, dog. Heavy. Who is 9 4, number 94? Love that boy game, homie. Big body, big dog. Heavy. Heavy here. <laughs> so we're talking about depth on the interior now. Players, real players on the interior now. The Eagles are a physical team. The Vikings' second, third, fourth string player just outbeat, outman the Eagles' defense, the Eagles' offense, the Eagles as a whole, yeah? No cap, dog. They just did that. Hands down, man down. They just did that, dog. Easy work. Easy work. Huh? Shout out Wes Phillips. I see he's play calling now. Shout out KOC for not getting caught up in his ego, understanding what helps the team, what he did it for the betterment of the team, I'm sure. And what I'm sure it wasn't easy. I'm sure it wasn't easy for Kevin O'Connell to give up play calling. But he understands Wes Phillips, DWI, whatever. Learn from it, grow from it, get better. Wes Phillips is the man for the job. And I'm glad KLC, you know, had the maturity to say, hey, I'm going to help my offense the best way I can. Wes Phillips, he going to call plays. And he did a great job to me every game. The offense was flown. The offense was moved. Jaron Hall, shout out Jaron Hall. I think he is your number two quarterback. You know, J.J. McCarthy out and all, but Jaron Hall, he looked comfortable in that pocket. He's showing his growth. He could be a solid backup QB here. He's had some nice passes, some beautiful passes, homie. Huh? <laughs> it's a lot of tough decisions coming up for the Vikings. What is it, Monday, Tuesday? A lot of tough things coming up, dog, but it has to be made. It's part of the game, part of the territory, you hear me? Part of the progress, you hear me? But shout out Quazy, man. The depth I've seen. Who is Gant? Somebody tell me who Gant is. Number 96 in the comments. Fire them comments up. That boy 6'2", 230 plus. Running around, flying around like that. Who is Porter? Number 57. Who is Porter? Is he a UDFA? You hear me? Not only do I feel good, feel, feel good about the Vikings this coming up season. Just excited to see them play. Put their talent on display. 
Because assumingly, if your second, third string looking good, that in sync is that must chemistry. And people forget it's the chemistry that matters as well. The relationships, huh? It all coming together. You know, I always say one day it will click. And I think now it's clicking, huh? Even in preseason, you can tell in preseason, people love to say preseason means nothing. No, preseason shows you where your level of depth chart is, dog. Where's your level of depth that you hear me? Do you have players who can really contribute, really make a difference if their number is called, dog? And the Vikings have a lot of talent. I mean, a lot of talent. You hear me? Some veterans may be gone. Some veterans may go heavy, dog. I say keep all the young boys, definitely. All the new young boys, rookies, definitely, dog. At least five, six, seven of them, eight, ten of them. <laughs> Heavier. You got some boys in the trenches, some boys in the secondary. McLaughlin, do we got to speak on McLaughlin, baby? I don't even got to, but I do, dog. dog. McLaughlin, the way he balled out. Man, what he wanted them once. He may be one of them ones. Rest in peace, Kyrie Jackson. But they had two boys who could bring it like that, man. McLaughlin, he keep his mind right, head on his shoulders, the right people around him, stay out the way, focus on football. That boy feisty, that boy a football player. He can play, and you see the game slowing down for him. He's getting better. He's progressing week in, week out. He should be a star. Somebody losing a spot, in my opinion. McLaughlin should be a star. Okay, huh? Have you hear me? <laughs> That's the, what I'm excited about the most. The Vikings finally have depth. I questioned their depth. You coursed in there, Deb, huh? But as we see preseason, going 3-0 you know, isn't something like, oh, yeah, it's preseason. You assume your first string better than your second string. You would hope so. But we know preseason means nothing. We've seen teams, what, go undefeated, lose all three preseason games, four, when it used to be four, and win the Super Bowl. So don't get caught up in a preseason, but get caught up in that depth chart. Your depth chart is better. Your depth chart is better. That's been the Vikings' biggest conundrum. Lack of depth, huh? At every position, every spot. It looked like they got uh, depth in the trenches, O-line and D-line. Now, the offensive line needs to work on pass protection. Pass protection, I didn't like what I saw there. But run blocking, something they couldn't do last year. Lack of physicality. Now, they banging. Now, they banging with the Eagles. Heavy, dog. Like we always say, top to bottom. So, if the Eagles first string physical, the second string physical, man. I love how the Vikings look at the team. It's like it's all coming together. It's all just smooth, you know? You know how some team just looks smooth, fast, and the Vikings look smooth and fast, baby. You hear me? Smooth and fast. On the, on the same accord. Consistent, consistent. Oh, heavy. <laughs> huh? It might be a scary sight. A scary sight when that first train hit the field, baby. <laughs> if them boys who I think they is, it'll be a scary sight when that first train hit the field. You hear me? <laughs> Hands down, man down 1,000, dog. <laughs> but clap it up for your Vikings. <laughs> huh? Depth chart for real. Depth chart for real. I'm looking at some of these guys. Who is Hall? What is it? Number 49, 47? Who is Hall? He just got here five days ago. Put him on a roster. Put him on a roster, KOC. Man, they got a lot of talent. <laughs> you hear me? Ah, let's go. Let's go, Vikes, huh? A lot of talent over there. Yeah. Let's get to the highlights, man, so I can really point certain players out, man. Let's get it, man. Let's break it down, man. Make sure you fire them comments up, huh? Feedback is much appreciated. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. You hear me? No cap, man. Let's get it, man. Check out the little gang. I really want to point out some players. You hear me? I really got to do this, though. $1.99. Live free. Eat Sonic. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. How did that? How did that? Dog? Everyday How did prices are too high. Mm -hmm. Our first and ten. Yeah. Vikings. No. And no cap Haskins. Tell me how y'all feel about Haskins, man. How you feel about Haskins, dog? The best of their running game. But no cap. Haskins, Gaskins, he's been running the ball very well. He's been running the ball very well. I would love to see him remain a Viking. I would love to see him remain a Viking. Doc, let me know. Do you agree or disagree? Do you agree or disagree? You hear me? <laughs> but Gaskins, he's a running back, dog. He can run that ball. He can tote that tater. <laughs> Even Dwayne McBride looked a little better. He looks better, dog. 
The Vikings have a lot of talent on that field. They're going to have to let some talent go, homie. But as long as they keep the right talent in the building, you hear me? I'm talking playoffs heavy, dog. Period, huh? Looks like Cooper the team's blitzing. Top of the screen. He was coming back out, and now it goes the other way. Near side for first down. Tristan Jackson, phenomenal. Had been playing phenomenal. I'm not so sure that Tristan Jackson isn't ahead of Brendan Powell. <laughs> no disrespect to Powell. And he's not, he hasn't been playing, has he? So I'm not sure. But Tristan Jackson stepped up, elevated his game this preseason. He got that four or five spot at the receiver spot, bro. But you feel you feel good about him on your depth chart, on your roster. If someone goes down, he got to step in. His number is called. You feel good about you feel good about him running on to the field, right? Being that receiver three or receiver four, dog, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> we talk about depth chart, <laughs> depth chart. The Vikings had built depth out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm not saying Super Bowl, but hey, man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look out, watch out, look out, observe, be focused on the Vikings overachievement, dog. Heavy, no cap, big skull here, yeah. Like he's backed up now to a first down at 15. Jaron Hall to the near side, and that's complete to Sherfield. That would imagine there's also some excitement and emotion finally getting an opportunity to come out here and play football. Like I said, I love what I see from the old line as far as run blocking. As far as run blocking, they have they have they have brought that together, though. So shout out to Kevin O'Connor, the offensive line coach, et cetera. Wes Phillips, the lineman for stepping up, getting bigger and stronger, playing more physical. But they look like a more physical team, a more physical team, homie. <laughs> they they ran that tater, toted that tater against the Eagles. <laughs> And like I say, I got to reiterate, pass blocking is a conundrum. Pass protection is a conundrum. We saw that versus the Eagles. Was it four, five sacks? <laughs> Inexcusable, dog. Inexcusable. Heavy. <laughs> but a positive, a big positive, the Vikings running that ball. <laughs> running that ball, dog. <laughs> you got to win in them trenches, baby. You got to win, win in them trenches, huh? No cap, man. Period, man. Let's get it. Second down to five. And Gaskin, a lot of room to run this time. Oh, that's Gaskin. No, that's Gaskin. Wow. That is a I like Gaskin a lot. You hear me? I like Gaskin a lot, homie. <laughs> what I saw from him the whole game, he missed a few uh blocks and pass pro, but to but as far as toting the tater, running that rock, being a weapon, third down back, he's all that, et cetera, et cetera. It's a battle, homie. It's talent there. Saving tackle. <laughs> Off the high snap. Paul got a near side, and he's got a first down. Sherfield, Sherfield didn't play second half. They took him out second half, so they believe in Trent Sherfield. They obviously believe in Trent Sherfield. Didn't see him in the game second half. Nice catch right here on the sidelines. <laughs> more weapons, more weapons. It's about scheme. It's about personnel. KOC looks more comfortable, man. He looks more comfortable on the sidelines. <laughs> and like I said previously, huh? Wes Phillips, that boy Wes Phillips. <laughs> oh, man, the way he performed, the way he'd been smooth with his play calling. It's about being in rhythm, getting his team in rhythm, the offense in rhythm, dog. He's been exquisite, very exquisite. You hear me? No cap. Quick throw and catch to Trent Sherfield. It's a first down and 16. Ball right at the Jaron Hall. I mean, I mentioned Jaron Hall. He looks more smoother. That's more smoother, quicker in the pocket. He looks comfortable, dog. The game is slowing down for him. He just bought himself a spot on the roster, in my opinion. He should be a second string quarterback. Now, we know J.J. McCarthy is out, but he is your second string quarterback ahead of Nick Mullins, homie. I'm taking Jaron Hall over Nick Mullins, hands down, man down, no cap. It's a no-brainer for me, duh, period. 20. Hall, got a little time, and that breaks down. Stayed alive and made something out of it. Oh, oh, sure. Sure. Dives ahead. Do you want a mattress that inflates? And Being able to get out that pocket is very important. You hear me? It's imperative and deflates like a balloon because that's how a sleep night. The 11 trying to hold the Vikings to potentially a field goal attempt, they've got to make it to the four. Now, keep in mind, I saw this whole game, so I watched the whole game. So, I just want to replay the highlights to point out players, put a spotlight on players, and just try not to forget nobody, dog. You hear me? Because <laughs> at the end of the day, the Vikings have uh, <laughs> have talent on their depth chart. Oh my gosh, it feels good as well. Heavy. The throw is there. Caught for the touchdown. 
Great throw, great catch. Jordan Hall went and sling it. Great hands catch by Tristan Jackson. Dog. Like I say, Tristan Jackson <laughs> has showed improvements. Another year, another season, another training camp. He's improved, dog. The, the boy might get on the field. You hear me? <laughs> the boy might get on the field for real, homie. Heavy. <laughs> the way he performed, the, 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 the toe taps, the toe grab, the toe drags, <laughs> the touchdown, dog, the production, huh? You got to put that boy on the field, man. Heavy, dog. I love the wide receiver room, homie. Heavy, man. <laughs> Let's go. Look, Josh Job was there in coverage, but inside position for Tristan Jackson. He had a chance to have a roll, but has been banged up most of camp. That's good. Patient running, and that's going to be a first down. And the Eagles had some runs, but they weren't just running all over the field. You know what I'm saying? You got guys like Andre Carter. What you going to do with him? <laughs> do you want to let him go? He made some plays. Homie, you hear me? You got young guys. I'm going to get to them. I'm going to let the tape play. <laughs> the first carry for Tyreon Davis Price. And it creates that little bit of extra space that you saw right there. And good room off the left side again. Wow, second effort running. Because otherwise, you assume it's inside zone to the left. The Vikings should be targeting that. There it is to the left. And it's first down yardage. Early, the Eagles moved the ball. They were able to push the rock. But later in the game, it was none of that. Shout out Rodriguez, man. Rodriguez, he going I feel like he got the potential to be a star. A defensive a defensive rookie starter, dog. He ain't the biggest, the strongest, but his motor, his heart, his determination. That's what that's what's going to make him great, homie. Always move in his hands. He had a couple pass deflections last game. You hear me? Let's go, man. The Vikings got talent, huh? Once again, a nice size hole for Davis Price to crash through down to something else. That Jaquillen Roy probably a it there, though. He ain't making a cut, though. Jaquillen Roy, he didn't do enough. And tip of the cap. Eagles all run all the time here. And a lot of action by Tyreon Davis Price down inside the 30. Eagles feel like he can get it done at every single position as a backup. Davis Price was averaging six yards a carry. And now the ball comes out. It didn't come out, it did. He lost it. As he was going for what a play, man. What a football play right here, man. Heavy. What a football fucking play, dog. Extra yardage. The ball popped out near the 35-yard line. Vikings say they've got it. A fumble recovered by Minnesota. First down. And they do. This is just the more feisty. It seemed like a more feisty, hard fought, crazy, wow, chaotic. You hear me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, just tough, nasty. Team, defense, offense as well. It looks just more overall physical, more in sync, dog. Just pay attention to the flow on the field. You hear me, dog? It's like it's all coming together. It's just clicking. You hear me? And then, like I say, it's the second string, third string, dog. So you would assume the first string looks even better. Huh? Let me understand week one is week one. You can't tell too much off of week one. But what, I, what the Vikings have put on display in this preseason effort? These games, these tournaments, they look great to me. <laughs> Not just the depth they have, but the, the coaching calls. But like I say, I got to keep shot shot out, shot out, dog, and kind of laud in Wes Phillips. But his play calling has been epic, dog. That last game, you hear me? It's a physical, physical Philly defense at Philly. is preseason, but them boys fighting for a spot, too. Outplayed, outmanned, outcoached, man. Just what it is. Before we talk about football, tell me a little bit about your mission in the community. The mission is simple. It's um, to serve, mentor, and progress our youth. And, and this is Lucky Jackson is another one. Lucky Jackson is another one. <laughs> don't sleep on him. He had a crazy catch versus the Eagles. I don't know if they're short or not, but Lucky Jackson, will he make the squad? <laughs> He's one of those twitchy receivers, dog. Huh? Playmaker written all on him. Playmaker, dog. Fast twitch, glitchy, et cetera, et cetera, man. I feel like he made a statement. So many options, so many choices to make, man. Talent all over the field. That's a good problem for the Vikings. But they just need to make sure they keep the best talent in there. But Lucky Jackson, he had a solid preseason, dog. Heavy. Should he make the roster? Number six receiver? The way he flashed? Huh? What is it about for real? Heavy.
the team the opportunity in that. Jalen Hurts, Eagles quarterback, Scott and Ross, back to you. Well, Jalen Hurts, as the Vikings get down inside the 10-yard line now, experience. Harry, can't forget about K. Neil Harry. That was a crazy catch. And he's at tight end now. Neil Harry, he's at tight end now. He runs like a receiver. That was a great catch. He's shown his athleticism. I would like to see him get more opportunities. You hear me? I think he's better than Nick Muse, better than Johnny Mudd, dog. He's a receiver at tight end at the end of the day. Call it what you want. He's a receiver at tight end. <laughs> K-Neil Harry, give him the ball. We can't sleep on him. Running like a receiver? I'm sure KLC got some things up his sleeve for this man here. You hear me? They got weapons all over the field, dog. Speed all over the field. <laughs> at the right positions, huh? You can't coach speed, right? Heavy. <laughs> Let's go, man. Neil Harry, man, watch out for him. Experiencing a very, very strong camp. Nine for ten in this one. He's got a third down and goal now, just outside the five. Rush is coming. They got it. Breakdown and pass pro. Pass protection was a problem this whole game. Is what it is. Fix it, period. Big time rush around the edge in the second. To Opora, who took advantage of it. So the field goal attempts. And despite a little problem with the snap in the hold, it's good. Are you critiquing him? Are you staying away from him? What are you doing? Well, when, when he's home, you know, we watch film and uh, he has questions. He'll, he'll, he'll call me. I talk to him every day. And, you know, Jeremiah, he don't talk a lot. Um, well, that's all he knows. You know, he only really know that he's my son, you know, and. Uh, and I told him, I always told him, listen, man, it ain't no pressure. Second down, big rush coming, quick throw. And that's good. They talk about Asamoah, you know, Asamoah trying to get some tackles in. Still, still, you know, Asamoah probably is who he is, solid backup, you know. Gives you speed, brings you speed. he probably make the roster. <laughs> a lot of questions in the secondary. Once again, Gant, this guy here, keep an eye on Gant. Number 96, he's 6'3", something, running around, running that fast. That long, athletic, strong, keep an eye on Gant, man. Keep an eye on Gant. Do you hear me? Of course, he's in the secondary. Caleb Evans, he's still playing preseason ball. You know, he's he, he goes from being a starter <laughs> to being, of course, then all, even on a 53-man roster, dog. That's why I say every year is different. It could look totally different in the secondary, but I wouldn't be mad at it. I'm here for it, dog. It's going to be good for about six or seven yards. Three receivers set on third down, but they go back to the ground, and there's your first down. Down inside the 21 for Davis Price. Only missed once from this range last year in a marvelous season for Elliott. And he throws that one home to get the Eagles on the board. Inside the 10, and hope it bounces into the end zone. Must not have been that good of a punter. I guess. He said he was pretty good. I like Gaskins a lot. I like Gaskins a lot, man. Okay. That's second down. Back shoulder throw. Oh, my goodness. What? Well, I'm telling you, Lucky Jackson, man. Lucky Jackson, dog, right there. Dude's a playmaker. Dude is a playmaker. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he made a name for himself. I feel like as far as depth, you keep him on the roster at the receiver position. Huh? He's too twitchy, too glitchy, huh? too too flashy. Dog. He can flash at any time. You need a guy like that, dog. period. I think Lucky Jackson will make the squad and remain on the Vikings roster, man. Great catch, great play. <laughs> he had a couple of those, man, a couple big plays versus the Eagles, homie. <laughs> Can't ignore it. Cannot ignore it, huh? Heavy. <laughs> What a catch by Lucky Jackson. I'm not sure how he came down with that ball. No doubt about it. On third down, quick throw, first down. Talent all over the field. I'm excited about the Vikings' future, boy. The next two, three years, you hear me? Dynasty may be heavy. Dynasty may be here. <laughs> Dynasty ain't it. Third and goal. That throw is there and the touchdown. Hall. Hall is another guy. I love his attitude. I love his confidence. I love his demeanor, man. I love his energy, his physicality. Hall, he's been there, what, five days? Did, 
did he make an argument to make the roster to, to make the spot and bring him in for a reason? The man scores a touchdown. I love his attitude. I love his hard determination, dog. I love his fight, his grittiness. Players all over the field, homie. <laughs> Trippy, though. Depth chart heavy here. He had three shots on the drive, but Justin Hall finally gets his score. And the Vikings extend their lead. Twisted tea is a refreshing, hard iced tea made with real blue tea. Keep it twisted. But obviously, the Eagles is really excited to get him in that receiver room. Crosses tape break down today, presented by Lola. And the way the defense just flies, you you hold the Eagles to three points. I don't care if preseason, second string, third string, or not, whatever. You hold the Eagles, you hold the team to three points. That's very impressive, dog. And I'm going to keep saying it, keep reiterating it. The defense, just the overall team flow, team glow, team just vibes, dog. The play on the field, it seems like everybody's on the same accord. There's no miscommunication. Everyone knows their role and their position, and they're playing it well, dog. Like I say, chemistry, chemistry, bonds that have been created. Shout out Brian Flores for him to come in, being his second year, already putting this together like he has done, dog. Having guys in sync. Fuck what Tua talking about, and it's road tied full of pride. But we don't care nothing about what Tua talking about. I'm gonna get to him in a later video. I ain't forgot about you, Tua. I'm on your head top, I'm gonna make your head drop. Shout out B Flow, Brian Flores, dog. <laughs> but what he has done now, he has elevated this defense, helped develop these players, helped them reach their maximum potential, and have them playing at the highest level, dog. You gotta, you gotta respect that, dog. You gotta salute that, dog. Hands down, man down, one thousand. You hear me? Big skull here, dog. Period. Official Hoagie of the Philadelphia Eagles. Got a team. You hear me? 1,000, man. Nice second down. Coming back near the side. And Jenkins right on Nice talk about scene, but scene probably out of there. You ask me, am I keeping scene over Ward? No. Jay Ward flashed this game. Jay Ward looked very good. <laughs> looked very quick. Very explosive, dog. <laughs> am I keeping Ward over scene? Yes. Am I keeping Jackson over scene? Yes. Now, if it's room for him, if somehow they can maneuver <laughs> and keep him in a building, homie, but I have with, with having enough room to do it comfortably, then all right. But at the end of the day, dog, <laughs> trade, scene, trade scene, ship scene out of there, whatever you got to do, release scene, etc. Jay Ward is the guy. Wide the game. I believe he got the first down. They're giving him forward progress to the 41. Thanks to WIP Sports Radio for their support in this as well. And these, this is your chance to help the Eagles Autism Foundation. You've done such a great job supporting the Porter. foundation. Like, who is Porter? This guy here, Porter. Man. Porter number 57 is Porter UDFA. Who is he? Where did he come from? Fire them comments up. Let me know, man. Let me know, Doug. You hear me? Who is 57 Porter? Who is 57 Porter? Where the hell did he come from once again, dog? Huh? He flying around making tackles. Young boys flying around. I feel like he got to make the squad, homie. There's a lot of talent out there. They're going to they gonna give a lot of talent up, but they got a lot of talent out there, dog. Huh? Period. Shut up, Quasi, dog. At least my observations now, they could, you know what I'm saying? They got to prove it at the end of the day, do it on the field, dog. But I'll be highly shocked if these dudes can't play ball, dog. You hear me? No cap. Period. The next Eagles Hall of Fame member will be announced. And on that fourth down run, that trip up to the back. Oh, that was all McLaughlin. That was all McLaughlin. That was all McLaughlin, man. I spoke about him earlier. Been speaking about him all off season. Him, Kyrie Jackson. Rest in peace, Kyrie Jackson. He was another guy who could make a big name for himself, make a big splash, and he's done that. He's been above and beyond. You hear me? I think the white McLaughlin might be a starting corner for you, dog. <laughs> line the game. I believe he got the first down. They're giving him forward progress to the 41. Thanks to WIP Sports Radio for their support in this as well. And these, this is your chance to help the Eagles Autism Foundation. You've done such a great job supporting the foundation. The next Eagles Hall of Fame member will be announced. <laughs> <laughs> White McLaughlin is a player you want, dog. Gritty, he gonna fight, he gonna scratch, he gonna claw. Period, dog. He will never fold, dog. Period. Underdog for real and superstar for real. Superstar to make it, dog. Let's go, bro. Big score, his score fights forever. Win, lose, or draw. You hear me? The backfield means the birds aren't gonna get it. Jaron Hall, to the blitz coming, is picked up, not picked up enough. Pass pro, pass pro. Rule Sage, Jurgen, that's Garrett Bradbury backup, right? <laughs> All these dudes. What's up with the pass pro? Pass protection. 
Hopefully that's not a problem for the first ring, dog. Right? Strong leg. Riker, Riker. Man, that one is good. Will Riker, that's my dog. Will Riker, that's my dog. You hear me? Will Riker, that's my dog. Will Riker, that's my dog. Shout out Will Riker, roll tide full of pride, man. The Vikings believe in Riker so much, they said, forget the other kicker. We're going to let him go. Ain't no competition. This man hit a 57-yarder. This man hit a 57-yarder, dog. Shout out Will Riker, man. <laughs> what I tell you, you want the best, come come to Bama, draft from Bama. Come to Bama, come play at Bama. They get you ready for the pros. <laughs> then draft from Bama, dog. Will Riker, all the pressure, big game. He ain't buying none of that shit, man. <laughs> how, how, many, how many years? What's the history? Vikings kickers choking big games. Riker ain't no choke guard, you hear me? He's been at the top of the top. He's done hit all the game winners, homie, and did it easy with easy work. Stood there very stoic, you hear me? Very stoic, dog. <laughs> Ready to make a big kick, homie. He's missed some. He's missed some big kicks, but he's made majority. That's what real Riker brings, homie. 57 yard, 57 plus, and he nailed it with ease. Straight line. Shout out Will Riker, homie. You hear me? Skull tie, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> On first down, right to work. Here comes the rush. He is hit. The ball is out. <laughs> Andre Carter. Andre Carter, another guy. <laughs> hit development. <laughs> I think he's making a roster. <laughs> The Vikings got talent all over the field, man. All over the damn field. I'm excited for it. All these boys can play. Tati, him, Porter. Once again, who is Porter? Number 45 came out of nowhere. These dudes ready, though. And I think the Vikings have it. They do. Second down. Paul setting up the screen. He goes blowing up. And still, how about that? Nice play by, by McBride. Nice play by McBride. That was Dwayne McBride, one man working against many. Just some of the worst holes I've ever seen. Not getting caught. Oh, third down. Watch wide open. Only a stumble is what ended up keeping. He kept his feet with a score. Keep, keep your feet, my boy. Keep Dwayne McBride out of the end zone. He told us there's so much that's different playing inside as opposed to out, and the run game is a part of it. On second down, did he get there early? Nope. You just got to do it the right way, like a quarter did right there. 20 yard field goal. Mr. Clutch, Mr. Clutch Riker, calling Mr. Clutch Riker. You're. Let's end this game for Riker. Probably the speed limit of like 80 in Iowa. <laughs> Big rush coming. That's pro again, pass pro again. What the hell is going on with pass protection, dog? Miscommunication, getting out, man. What? Let's get it, bro. The eye test says your pass protection is ass trash. Vikings, get it together. And Matt Corral, that's an ugly walk into the game. He's trying to make sure it's seven, either here or somewhere else. Third down, and that's an opportunity now. Burks mm -hmm. almost got there after Teron Jackson provided the pressure of the hit, and he said... He hasn't looked at that very much, but from what he's heard from the people who are here, it's very different. How about this? Damn, dog, come on. Keep your feet, man. Get your fucking hands of your head around. He put it on your head top, make your head drop, boy. <laughs> he just head head dropped you, my boy. He's probably not making the squad, but respect for you being on the field. You're in. First big play of the game for the Eagles. Crowd's behind him. Yeah, Look at this. Nudie in the building. That boy McLaughlin again. That boy Nudie in the building. <laughs> get him on the field. Get him playing. Make him your first string cornerback. <laughs> the white McLaughlin. Remember the name. <laughs> the white McLaughlin. Remember the name. You hear me? <laughs> that boy ready. That boy locked in. Yeah, it's a big risk quarterback. Got to bring his big ass down. He'll fight. He like a honey badger. He's going to go every time, dog. <laughs> no fight. No fold. No quit. Determination. He's going to bite every time. You hear me? Hit in that box, he gonna bite every time, scratch every time. You're nudie in the building, nudie. <laughs> oh my goodness! Kevin O'Connell has seen what he's going to see out of his group, and Ooh. how about that? The Gene getting inside, making a play. That's a loss of two. 
third and long. They throw it, and it's incomplete. Right down the seam. Oh, turned upside down. But hang it. Jay Ward going to stick you in your head. Jay Ward going to bring that pick on heat, though. Like I say, if it's Jay Ward or Scene, shit, damn near Jay Ward or Theo. You know, I want to see Jay Ward in the game more. But Theo Jackson must have had must must have had a productive training camp, a very productive training camp, OTA, spring, etc. Shout out Theo Jackson. But you say Jay Ward or Scene is an easy decision. <laughs> Jay Ward, huh? That's a heck of a catch for 17. Love that McKee is getting this no huddle up tempo opportunity. That's rhythm right now, no doubt about it. Pretty move. And down to the 10 yard line is Lou Nichols. Those guys should not have a lot of juice. Look, they're barely coming off the ball. They can't even move. Trying to thread the needle with a little. Great play. Like I tell you, Jay Ward, you know, he can improve, but I I, I say you keep Jay Ward on the squad, dog. He, he, he a twitchy, fast, twitchy safety, homie. You hear him? Bit behind Smith. Third down and short. I only need a yard to move the sticks. Oh, not gonna get it. Matter of fact, Jay Ward finna get a pick right here coming up, right? Shout out Jay Ward with the pick, you hear me? Quick throw. Right Come here. The hands and Come here. Intercepted in the Come end zone. Yeah, man, you keep Jay Ward no cap, homie. Jay Ward comes down with the football. Best looks possible and challenge each other every day. Landon, speaking of getting good work in, I saw you a couple times this summer raising money. You did it with a, a very subtle kind of a, a stalker feel. How long did it take you to plan that out? Uh, all of about 30 seconds. <laughs> You're making a bid on Will Greer coming no, into the bargain? I, well, if I did that, I'd win. <laughs> but the bid that I'd be making it, he's got to get it to the 43-yard line, and he's going to throw down the seam incomplete. And at the 421 mark, Minnesota will take over once again. Battling for a backup role, and there were times where I knew this might be my last game. Bill oh, Reichard was making me to pregame. Wow, bangs home a 57 yard field. <laughs> you hear me, Reichard, huh? 57, the highlight of the day, 57 yard. Let's go. We got a kicker now, man. Let's get it. Touch, dependable, Mr. Dependable. Heavy. <laughs> He clutched that. And now he's on his third big contract or his third contract. It's really impressive. But honestly, after the oh, yeah. singer and the idea that one day he'd like to be a horse jockey when he's bigger than all the horses. Yeah. So there it is, man. Another great win, way to finish the preseason strong. But what this tells me, the Vikings have depth. It's going to be some tough decisions, some tough decisions, dog. The Vikings can play and have things their way, you know, certain ways. But at the end of the day, they have to keep the right players, make the right decisions. It will be imperative. They're going to have to let some talent go just because of the number of guys you can have at certain positions, right? But, man, they got talent all over that field, my boy. Heavy. Yes, it's some weak points. But, man, they get it right. They get it right. Talk about overachieving. Sleeper team. The Vikings could be the biggest sleeper team. Homie, heavy, dog, no cap. What I saw this whole preseason from the depth, believe in them, dog. You already know, love them for real, heavy. You hear me? Am I saying Super Bowl? No. But overachieve? I stand on that playoff, period, dog. Don't be shocked at a couple wins. You hear me? Maybe even three. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Maybe not. Maybe so. Let's get to it, huh? Let me know how you feel about the video, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Make sure you hit that bell, man. Yeah, big score here. You know what it is. Shout out my big dogs, my subscribers, my supporters. You are much appreciated for life. Never forget it, man. Are you excited about this season? Are you excited? Are you turned up, huh? Huh? You teed up. You hear me? <laughs> Let me know, man. Know what it is, man. Woo! -hoo! Rest in peace, Kyrie Jackson. Once again, he will never be forgotten. Score forever, Viking forever. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Score Vikes. Win, lose, or draw. <laughs> yeah.